Hey everybody, get ready for a Mela update in three, two, one. All right, hey everybody, we've been keeping busy on Mela. We've been doing a lot of fruiting on our couple of uh, life test units here. So we've got a bunch of oysters. We've been doing a lot of oysters because we want to make sure that we have enough fresh air to make sure we can grow a bunch of them uh, in one enclosed chamber. Um, so, so far they've been growing really well. We just harvested these uh, the other day and I wanted to show you guys, they are looking awesome. So we've got uh, brown oysters, white oysters. Uh, we had some pink oysters in here. I already ate them, I'm sorry. Um, but they've been growing really awesomely. So that's fantastic news. It means we're getting enough airflow and we're keeping the humidity we need to, to make sure they grow right. A um, Couple other updates. We have been, if I can find it, we've been working on some parts. So you guys might remember, we used to have one of these bad boys, a 3D printed water tray. Um, and this worked out really well but it's really hard to 3D print thousands of something. So instead, we made an injection molding tool to spit these guys out uh, as we need them. And so this is a much better, you can see the finish is way better. Um, and overall, the part is just a way more high quality part. So we're super excited. These are kind of our first shots off the tool. Uh, and these are the ones that'll be going out to you guys. So keep an eye out for this. It's pretty cool. Hi, my name's Emily. I'm working on the Mela redesign of the board. So what I just did, on this newest iteration is I extended the board a lot. So you can see I moved a lot of stuff away from the humidity sensor so that our temperature doesn't affect, the temperature of the components won't affect the reading of our humidity sensor. I also added a reverse polarity protection circuit so that if you plug in the wrong power supply, the board won't explode. This should be our final version of the board and I've been working on a lot of the changes for this board, but Bobby has been working on the software for this design. So we've been working on the software for Mela for the past few months and we've got it to a pretty stable state at this point. Uh, what this software is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to set a particular, a particular light level uh, that you want for your mushrooms. So it can you know, range from very low light level to, to uh, quite intense lighting. So you can adjust that. You can also adjust your relative humidity. And what that's going to do is allow us to control uh, the chamber for that relative humidity value. Uh, in the event that you run out of water or for some other reason you're unable to maintain the humidity that you've set, what we'll do is we'll actually breathe the lights uh, on the chamber so it lets you know just by you know, seeing it in the room somewhere uh, that you need to go and, and uh, add more water to your reservoir. And then last we have our air exchange controller and what that's going to allow us to do is to uh, do full air exchanges inside the chamber uh, every uh, so often uh, depending on how, how you have this set. And all these things can also be turned off so if you want to turn off all your lighting or turn off all your air exchange or turn off all your humidity control uh, that can all be done as well. Thank you guys for your support. It has been an awesome team effort to watch everybody at First Build get this out the door. We are working as hard as we can to get this to you. So make sure to stay tuned. We will keep you guys updated. And until then, we'll see you next time.